The village of Bedding nestles in the Rollwalling Valley, in the shadow of the Himalayas and Mount Everest. Almost every house here has someone who has climbed the world's tallest peak. But this community of the brave is sitting on the edge of disaster. The river running through the village is fed from Charolpa, a glacial lake high up in the mountains. If the lake were to burst, Bedding, along with thousands of people further downstream, would be swept away in a torrent of water and mud. Nawang Tempa and Norbu Lama, now in their 50s, remember a glacial lake outburst 35 years ago. There were two old ladies who were at the water mill. That evening, around five or six, the waters came. When it did, one woman was buried and is still buried, and one was rescued by the men from the school ground. There was another outburst from a different lake in 1991. When the waters came, it destroyed a lot of things. Fields were destroyed, bridges were swept away. For three days, the water did not recede. It just flowed and flowed and flowed. This is the sequential development brought up. Scientists say temperatures now, in the Himalayas are increasing at a higher rate than the global average. Pradeep Moon is a specialist on climate change in Kathmandu. Uh, there are several uh, scientific research uh, done in the Himalaya. And if you talk about the average, say, overall Himalaya, how the glacier are retreating or melting, at least 10 to 30 meters per year is the glacial melt rate. And some of the glaciers are retreating very, very fast. The Choroba Glacier Lake is at an altitude of 4,500 meters. The journey from bedding to the lake takes two days, and the thin air makes it difficult to walk. This lake used to be a glacier which melted because of global warming. The pile of rocks around here, the only thing holding the waters in. And if it breaks, then the water is going to flow through the valley below. But for now, an outflow has been built by the engineers to control the level of water. Over a period of 50 years, the glacier evolved into a lake 500 meters long and 130 meters deep. It contains almost 100 million cubic meters of water. 26-year-old Baburam Tokuri is the caretaker at Choropa. Seven years ago, the government installed this ambitious and impressive structure to ease the pressure on the lake. Down in the valley, villagers were equipped with early warning system. But ironically, most were either stolen or destroyed. Before, the water used to flow from there. Now the water has been channeled. It looks like the lake might not break now. But scientists believe the water level needs to decrease by at least 10 meters to make absolutely sure that the lake is safe. So far, it has only gone down by 3 meters. There are 20 glacial lakes in Nepal that are threatening catastrophic bursts every day. Charolpa is the largest and the most dangerous. As the earth warms up further, many villages like Bedding and across the Himalayas face the real danger of being wiped out. Subina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Rollwalling Valley in the Himalayas.